hi guys welcome back to my channel and to the uh to the new subscribers uh welcome to my channel uh yeah karibuni uh no subscribers and thank you so much for your support i appreciate your love and your you know every click i do appreciate so keep subscribing and thank you so much and actually i do appreciate so so much so guys today i'm going to talk about looking for a host or having a host here and there you know when you're the process of looking for a host you know it's not an easy thing to do so you know once you decide that you're processing your documents and maybe you have a visa you know maybe you have a visa and you're you have your documents and you want to come over here so the whole process is actually you have to have a host because if you don't have a host yeah you have to have the address so the whole thing is that you have to have the address and so because the address you having the address that's where your documents are gonna be sent to you know your green card your social security and all that so having a host is a very very big thing and also yeah it can be very challenging especially if you don't know someone over here yeah especially if you don't know anybody if you have like a relative you don't have a friend but nowadays it's very easier you can get someone online so yeah but uh yeah you can get someone online so nowadays it's very very easier but what i was gonna say is that having a hope it's very important in a way that it's gonna help you to uh stabilize in a very fast uh, way you're gonna stabilize quickly you're gonna get your stuff done faster and also you're gonna get a job quickly depending on where they are how they know stuff and also if they are kind you know if they are they like to share stuff because some people don't like to share information so depending on who you who your host is so and you pray that you get a good host that's my prayer so here's the thing just pray that you get a good host who is not uh, mean to uh, sharing information because some people are so mean to sharing information so but getting a host you can get a host uh, from you know yourself let's say for example if you have friends so yeah if you have friends uh, they can help you uh, let's say, yeah they can host you for example if you have friends they can host you uh, or they can find people who are uh, who can host you or yeah or friends of friends who can host you you know or yeah just it's just it's a chain you know just knowing someone or having to know somebody can just help you get a host also um if you have a relative over here also it's an advantage so yeah if you have a relative you can get a host through relatives you can get a host through family you can get a host um through social media nowadays which is a very very huge platform of course because uh i remember that's how i got my second host when i posted a picture when i first got here and then i posted a picture on facebook um my second host saw my picture and then they were like how did you get here and then we started talking from there 
and then after a while they were like do, do you have a job and then i was like no i don't have a job so and then so after some times um yeah so after a while they were like uh so do you want to come over here and try it and so maybe you will like it so that's how i got to midwest but like i said social media can help you get um a host depending on how you use it so be kind be nice to uh to the people that you guys uh yeah be nice on social media because you never know who is gonna help you yeah like i was saying be nice on social media because you never know who is gonna help you so you can get a host on social media you know facebook instagram all over you know just be nice to people especially if you have dreams to come over here so you never know who's gonna help you and also um there uh, yeah these a and b <laughs> guest houses which are very very affordable so if you have money and you think that you feel like you can afford like guest houses for like a very short time you can do that and also you can also book a hotel or a motel for a, a very short time i'm saying a very short time because i don't know how much money you're gonna be having to spend in a hotel because i know you're gonna be using also uber or lyft depending on uh where you're gonna be going or uh, buying meals and all that uh i don't know how rich you are but also um, i am not going to advise someone who is coming here with a green card or you know depending on what kind of a visa you have because i know that student visa uh for people who have student visa they always go to to the schools where they have been selected to go to but for people who are coming over here with uh, green cards I just I'm just gonna advise you if you're coming here for a long term long term I mean like if you're coming here and um, you have a visa like for you know you have a visa let's say for example a green card visa I'm just gonna advise you to kind of just get a host because you're gonna need your documents you need your documents to be sent to a, a place which is uh, to be sent to a correct address or if you're going to a hotel at least give give uh, get someone where get a place uh, where your address can you know where your documents can be sent you know or but my advice is at least get a host because you're gonna need someone to help you know places you're gonna need someone to help you to learn on how to drive you're gonna need someone to show you around to apply for jobs to help you to uh, go and apply for the SSN apply for you know pay for your green card and all that so to show you stuff around so like I'm saying and everything is gonna cost you money and like I'm saying going to live in a hotel or a motel uh, you know like going to live in a hotel it's gonna cost you a lot of money so and then by the time you realize you'll be like you know you're spending a lot of money but having a host would have might have saved you maybe a little bit you know some coins so to me I would advise you if you're not coming here for like visiting if you're coming to visit maybe uh, if you're visiting you can go to a hotel or a motel but if you're coming for a long term stay um, long term I mean like such a, like a green card look for a host yeah look for a host for a host because you don't want to go and spend lots of money out there and then end of the day you need people to tell you about you know a kind of jobs you need to talk to people and show you around you need to 
to know how the life is you need to know what to do you, you don't want to just go to a new place and just by yourself get a horse because you don't want to come here and get depressed you don't want to come here and the next day you want to book a flight and go back so kindly get a horse my horse uh, went you know they went mute so I had to look for another horse so my thing is this is what I'm going to communicate is that you have an option to either go ahead and also change your address so if maybe something like that happened to you you also have an option to go ahead after your interview or after something like that had happened to you you can go ahead and change your address so look for another host before you travel here and then change your address you know get a different another host and then change your address uh, because it's doable so but for me it took me like two weeks to realize that I needed to change my horse because I didn't know that I was supposed to because you are in communication and then after being approved they went silent so I kept texting them and I was so excited so I, w I was just telling them you know what hey I got my visa yeah they never got back to me so I send the mails, I send the checks, I send the mails and I made calls and no one ever got back to me. Two weeks later, I was there, I was stuck. And then I had to look for another option, which was to look for another horse. And yeah, so like I said, everything is doable. So you can either go to for the interviews and then after that come once you get your visa approved never lose hope because of a host you can just go to social media look for people talk to people and then even yeah talk to people and tell them your intentions just be honest but sometimes also is it's always good to don't reveal your financial situation yeah don't reveal too much information to people just hide don't be too open especially when it comes to financial situations because that also is gonna make people not host you so yeah don't open up too much when it comes when it comes to financial uh, issues don't open too much okay that's my advice okay so do not open too much when it comes to financial issues so my advice one more thing I think I have like two more things to say once you come over here um, yeah I think that's I was gonna share about that so once you yeah that's for today and then the, once you get the horse that's, that's what you're supposed to do the rest i will share in the next video so friends and then if you're getting your horse through like if you're getting a hotel or a motel uh once you get here you can maybe you know look for church or communities and then you know uh, yeah look for like a church or a community or uh, actually people on Facebook or places around or go to the park and look for people try to you know go out and you know hang out and look for people that way you can get to know people and at least maybe you will get to know people around and maybe you, you can meet someone and they can help you to get out of that hotel and at least you know yeah because honestly 
uh, I feel like staying in a hotel and you're a green card winner is not gonna help you. Come to think of it, um, you need at least at least three months, at least four months, or at least six months. At least six months to to stabilize. So for me, my advice is don't go to stay in a hotel if you're coming with that green card. So look for a host and you can get a host anytime. So that is my advice. Get friends. If you don't have friends, go to Facebook. You if you don't have Facebook, uh get someone to hook you up. But if you're yeah, get someone to hook you up, okay? But also don't get hooked up with the wrong people, especially girls. Especially girls, okay? Ways to get a host. Social media, yourself. Get social media, yourself. Social media, yourself, friends. And that is it, guys. So, but kindly, don't forget to hit that button and subscribe to my channel. Thank you so much. 